and welcome everyone to another painting video tutorial from Vital Creatives. My name is Ruben Martinez and I'll show you how we painted the miniatures from the Kickstarter from Cool Mini or Not and Speed Master Games. This project is called Marvel United and these miniatures have a chill style and many of you ask to us about how we did this paint job onto these miniatures so I'll show you how we do that remember if you like this content please like and subscribe this video in the YouTube channel of Vital Creatives in order to support us and make more content for you like this. So, let's start. Okay, now it's turn of the of the face probably the most important part of the of the miniature so to do paint the face is pretty the same process okay so I will use of course, this color is near, very near to the to the base skin tone of my character, so it's perfect for this miniature. Okay, I need some um, high value color in order to get some lights. Okay, this will be an option. This will be another option, I, I will choose that. Okay. And I need some color to darken this, this blue. Okay, I have prepared already the, the violet and the orange in, in my wet palette. Okay, so for as I said before, it's the same process. One color for the lights, one color for the shadows, okay? So for the lights, I will use, of course, blue. And I will add, sorry, a touch of this yellow, okay? It's not yellow, it's like a um, uh, ochre tone. So this color will be perfect, let me add more blue to this and for the solid colors I will use the same blue, okay, but I need to darken with a little bit of this violet, okay, you are starting to see the difference and I will add some orange to desaturate the color. Orange is the complementary color of blue, so this will create the saturated version of the color. I'll need to darken a little bit more the color. Maybe I will make a way darker tone for the deepest shadow of the face like this one but I will use that in some touches okay okay and those are my colors forget about the darker one okay 
only have in mind this one for the lights, lights this one for the saddles. I dilute it a little bit, as always, my paint, in order to flow correctly from my brass, but not enough to less all the coverage of the paint. Okay? If I need to apply two layers, for example, it's okay for me. If I need to apply ten layers, it's not okay for anyone. <laughs> Okay, so let's go with the saddles first, oh, of course. I will use the colors for the saddles, okay, and okay, I'll probably use a darker one for these parts. Oh. I need to correct the mix, okay? I will use... I don't want a purple tone, so I will use a little bit of blue, dark blue, to correct my saddle color, okay? So, I will add to this mix, okay? It's too much blue, so I will add a little bit of orange and now I think it's better this color for shadowing because it has a lower value than before so you could see how I modify the value only adding a little bit of blue let's try okay now way better I think so with this color and as always following my reference I'm painting the subtle parts of his face this is the light part and this is the subtle part See how the the priming is so wet in this side of the head. Okay. Later I will add some lights in this side because I don't want a flat surface. And in this part, in the face, you need to be more precise because as I am talking before, this is the most important part of the miniature, so you need to be very sharp. As well, I will paint the fingers with this dark color all the fingers, okay? I'm painting, let's say, the recesses of the fingers with this color. You could darken even more this color to paint these recesses for the fingers, adding more blue and violet like I'm doing right now okay those fingers same process
maybe reinforce this dark base coat onto this part. Sorry, I think I'm out of the camera again. <laughs> and with this dark color, I will reinforce some shadows into the face, like those ones. Okay, I will add some shadows in this part as well. Okay, ready to go. So I'll continue with the side of the head, applying the shadows. Sorry, I need to take this position to reach to the deepest recesses. It's important to paint every part of the miniature and not leave nothing unpainted, okay? The recesses it's important to be painted with the, these darker tones. Okay, I'm making some separation between this element and the face. And now I need to, to add some shadows in the cheeks this way. and in the idol. I want the eyeball, the eye socket, sorry, the eye socket darker. And I am reinforcement, make a reinforcement over these saddle parts. As I did with every part. Okay. So, now let's start with the lights. So for the lights, as always, I'll paint the surface with my light color, like this. It's weird when you see the, the, the miniature or some parts of the miniature painted only with the saddles. It isn't. When you start to, to add the lights, it makes more sense for your, for your eye.
Okay, I'm trying to be as precise as I can because it's better to not uh, need to be later making um, corrections. So now could be more time consuming trying to define in this step, but you will earn some time making the things in this way, okay? I'm trying to hold my breath in order to be more precise and is 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 useful and I think it, it this kind of, of things comes natural when you are trying to to make this kind of definition work. Okay, maybe another layer will be needed in some parts. But see how this brass allows to me to draw a lot of time because the body is big enough to charge a lot of paint. So I don't need to be charging paint every brass stroke. This is why I prefer to paint with number one, if the shirt, if the tip, tips of the brass is sharp, is way better to make these kind of things. Okay, I'll make another coat in this side. course here as well some light is needed These steps probably will take much time than others because taking account you are covering the most part of the miniature. So it is normal that this video in this part will take longer. But once you have everything with light and shadow you don't need to paint everything again 
and things will be speed up you'll see okay so I need to add a little bit of light in the lip here the lip needs to be defined of course Okay, so as you could see, this starts to seems like a face. I need to define the air. So I'll make a high lining of the edges of the air. something like that and I need to darken a little bit the mouth I'll mix a uh, darken color something like that and I will paint with a very diluted mix in this part in order to fill the recesses of the mouth in this way perfect you need to control every time your dilution is very important because in dilution is not good for everything okay so now ah, of course almost forget the fingers so of course I'll paint the fingers Way. You need to define one by one. Okay. very important to define these parts because they give to the character a lot of personality the, the hands the, the face and so on so spend take your time when painting these elements
could be tricky to paint these little elements but trust me the the miniature are is so well defined so this makes the job easier Okay, and the thumb, of, of course. Needs to be painting, of course. Thumbs up for this guy. Is it's advancing very nice. Uh, for the next part, I will speed up a little bit the video in order to make more dynamic. Because for the trousers, the boots, this part is pretty the same process about applying light and saddles onto the different parts so uh, I think at this step you are friendly with this concept and you could get the idea okay first of all uh, before that I will apply some lights in the darker side of the face okay in order to suggest some volumes here for this I I'm using a mix between this color and this color something in between this way And now I'll see more defined this hidden part of the of the of the head. Something like that. But remember, with these secondary lights, uh, don't make more lighter than that. This is your main light, okay? So it's important to make it, it darker than this one to keep the the relationship between different lights. I think this could be more advanced concepts but of course you could adapt the things that you are seeing for your own purposes and okay you could make it simpler and of course will be nice And I'm thinking about to add some extra light in the in the face, okay? 
So I will mix the blue and the yellowish tone. No, I need another color in order to make so more light in, in, in the face, okay? So for this I will use probably one of the most lighter values that I have in my palette. It's not white, but it's near from white. I don't use white. And instead of that, I use this color, it's a broken white with a little bit of maybe yellow and a little bit of blue and of course I will use with the blue okay to increase the value to uh, something very very light I will add some yellow in order to keep my warmer lights okay and let's try it okay the illusion again is something in the middle, not too much thick, not too much watery down, and I'll apply some lights here. Maybe it's too too light. Okay, so there's no problem. I will add more blue to darken a little bit and again I'm correcting my mixes on the spot so this is pretty fair now I think it's way better I'm almost finished these light points onto this side of the head in order to increase the contrast. See the difference?
more contrast in the face is especially good because I mentioned before that this is the most important part of the miniature you need to focus attention of the of the viewer here and making this kind of high contrast paint jobs will benefit this aspect Okay. Some final light points and ready to go. As I did with the clock, did you remember that I made some glazes with uh, a mix of these colors, okay, between them, and what we down more than usual, I could make some glasses in these parts in order to make it more smooth these gradients like this it's so quick and so effective this technique that I recommend you that you give it a try because glazes are one of the most important techniques to master when it's to paint miniatures. Those ones combined with the air blending, blending with the eyebrows, will give you all the tools that you need to make this kind of quick blends quick and nice blends I think okay so this part let it dry and now I can jump let me blow a little bit Now it's ready to go over the other parts. So let's get on to the final steps. 